Okay. Already. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Koloskov, and uh, this is 40G Live with little of uh, technical, as usual, little technical issues. But now uh, we are all fine and um, ready to go. So today uh, we'll be talking about this silverware short uh, assignment, uh, which was our bi-weekly assignment uh, supposed to be submitted uh, by the end of somewhere middle of today. And we got some nice submissions. I'm going to review and critique them as usual. And also I got this little setup. Uh, that's what, why basically uh, a little bit late uh, because I got this uh, lightning setup. I'm going to show you uh, basic principles of, um, you know, shooting uh, that kind of tabletop silverware stuff. Uh, I don't know which screen you are watching me at uh, because it's on 40G Live uh, main screen and also there is 40G.com uh, slash live where we have uh, video and the chat window. So if you want to talk back to me, uh, use the chat window, I'm monitoring it. Yeah, it's right here, it's opened and uh, uh, this way. Uh, I can answer your questions or you can, well, at least you can tell me something when you want. Okay, so uh, let's start. I'll start from uh, reviewing and critiquing the submissions as usual. And then, yep, oh, let me adjust a little bit of myself. And then we'll go and uh, shoot a little bit, not much. As usually, it shouldn't take more than one hour. Okay. So the first, the first submission from uh, Nicholas from Greece. Oh man, one day I will enjoy Greece. <laughs> I love Europe. Okay. So we got this. Uh, pretty cool composition, I would say, because uh, I like uh, that unusual look, you know, of the fork and uh, some strange spoon or not spoon, something else. And uh, if you look at the lighting setup, it's even kind of more interesting because it was done with just one tabletop lamp, right? One tabletop lamp and uh, just a piece of uh, tracing paper, just translucent paper, right? So, guys, if you think that you don't have equipment uh, to, you know, learn to play with tabletop uh, studio photography, you don't have even strobes, look at this image and look at this result, right? If, uh, well, Maybe it's not perfect, maybe it's not like wow, 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 creative shot. But if you look at this image, nobody will tell that it was done with just a tabletop lamp and transit paper, right? So, great, great stuff, uh, Nicholas. The only thing from technical side I would add is uh, a little bit more light. Basically, you need to adjust the exposure. Uh, you see these highlights on the... Let me try to, oh, yeah, it works. So I will use this tool. I'm talking about this highlight. It looks really cool because it's bright. It gives us that feeling that it's glossy. Same here on the fork. And I want to see it a little bit more somewhere here. Okay, because the big uh, part of this um, spoon, well, it's not spoon, it's some, I don't know but I think more light on it uh, will be better. So maybe reposition in the light, the lamp uh, will fix it or well, definitely it will fix <laughs> if you if you just change. I've seen you didn't use any like a modifier on the lamp, even though you had something uh, uh, back there on the table. So it's a good idea. You can always, you know, uh, create something, some snoot type of uh, thing on your light, even if it's tabletop lamp, and then, you know, modify it to, to, let's say, to create 
brighter area or to, to create let's say smaller spot which you can use to highlight particular areas of the uh, that silverware because well silverware is a glossy subject meaning that we working with uh, diffuser or reflector we creating the reflection and we not highlighting our um, subject directly because direct light on the mirror it just not gonna work right we need to have some soft light and diffused light from the diff reflector or diffuser so that's why uh, we had this paper so great job really great and like I said very creative and uh, well done so thank you and you know every time I see something like this it reminds me uh, how I started I was doing very similar stuff in my apartment bedroom so that's kind of cool memories okay next image from Cortis uh, Curtis knows his stuff, I can tell you, because, well, Curtis is experienced photographer. Uh, tabletop photography for him, a little bit new area, but, well, he was shooting for more than 20 years, and he definitely knows this. Uh, so, very good result. And, Curtis, I will start from, you know, direct critic, <laughs> uh, because, you know, you, you'll take it, I know. <laughs> So, what can be improved here? When I look at the background, I see the texture in it. I see some, you know, little wrinkles, some... It's not, you know, that smooth, clear gradient on it. I see the background, and this is the first problem. And actually, if you look at your next shot, the background is perfect here. But we'll talk about this a little bit later. Let's finish with this one. So, the background, uh, the gradient, could be much more softer and cleaner. Uh, then the mirror. You shoot this if you look at how it was shot. Actually, one one light source, right? And that's exactly right. Uh, well, easiest way to shoot this. Uh, what I was saying? Yeah, the mirror. You placed uh, on the mirror uh, your fork, spoon, and knife. And I think that you know mirror is a little bit too much I, it's just for me obviously it's just um, subjective completely subjective view has nothing to do with technical side but still when I see uh, the mirror and I see that kind of mirrored reflection where it's hard to separate the subject from reflection I somehow it gets messy a little bit if you look at this image it's like oh at first second I it's hard to count how many subject do we have six or three you know that kind of stuff. Ideally, I would uh, use maybe glossy um, white plastic, plexiglass, glossy. You can create, well, it reflects nice amount of light, so you can create a uh, reflection on it, I guess. And, uh, mm, but yeah, maybe you're right, maybe it will be hard to create a gradient on that kind of. Uh, a non non mirrored surface but anyway maybe it's possible i would probably try it. okay so and if you look at the n next shot i like it actually better because i see better gradients everywhere or even on knife here knife uh, is nice especially the um, handle but uh, the blade i think it's kind of it looks good, but it doesn't have gradient on it. And uh, even, let's say, um, the spoon has maybe too much of gradient, maybe a little bit too dark. Uh, but let's say the fork, fork looks probably the best here. A knife would uh, really benefit from some gradient on its on the blade. I will show you how uh, you know to deal uh, with knife and uh, spoon when it comes together because spoon is easy to create a uh, gradient on anything which is uh, not flat because it reflects very large area of the diffuser or reflector you have it's easy to create gradient and it will be visible on that uh, surface on arc but on a flat surface like a blade knife blade uh, it's not 
that easy because it actually reflects little piece or from that uh, large diffuser you have on top and um, but it's possible I'll show you so here we have a little bit of uh, gradients uh, maybe a little bit too much uh, of the um, plate and a little bit too less uh, of the silverware but it's not it's not a big problem I just you know I would probably move plate a little bit uh, to the left and uh, uh, have this uh, fork and uh, knife a little bit more on the frame but other than that really cool and you see that there is the background here is really nice you just moved it a little bit far I think it was a little bit far or the same anyway you did something and uh, I don't see any uh, texture on it which is good so in general uh, if you you see the texture on your background or in this case reflection from the background move it uh, further from the subject out of focus completely out of focus and boom it will be good okay uh, other than that cool stuff I really like you know this uh, bright and dark areas so you did it very well thank you okay no questions cool uh, let me check yeah at least no complaints which is good meaning you guys hear me and see me well okay and yeah everything is recorded as usually it will be posted so no worry if you need to run run <laughs> Oh yes, yes, actually, yeah. Curtis, it's about the gradi uh, the gradient and background. You see how far you moved uh, your background? That's why it came without any issues comparing to this one. It was three times closer, right? So that's good point. Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, Mikhail, Mikhail, if I pronounced right. Uh, first contribution, so Mikhail, welcome to 40G. Um, I glad you submitted the image, and well, I double glad uh, because it it has splash, and it's creative, it's it's cool. So, um, like I said, welcome to the community, and uh, I hope you will um, well submit another, other shots, and we'll talk with them about them, and uh, well, we all become very popular and uh, you know famous photographers okay so let's see uh, this is basically two shots right splash uh, separately and uh, knife with uh, line separately uh, the first thing here it's a little bit uh, dark the knife I need to see more uh, again more brighter and darker area to show uh, how glossy it or not even though it may be made it's not glossy yeah it's not completely glossy I see the metal uh, it's not like polished but still more well brighter uh, reflection will help here because you see on this background uh, knife uh, that the handle looks better actually even though it has the darker areas but it has some highlight which you know kind of I always my eye goes there to see that you know this spot I like it and the blade you see no gradient on the blade I know it's hard but it's possible and when you get that gradient um, well it, it might look uh, better so let's see uh, the lighting setup yeah you've been using this large uh, reflectors just a paper or something similar to white paper right and uh, well if I look here you see well I see that you, you used a uh, soft box on the front front and right and uh, I don't think the blade itself the knife blade uh, reflected any particular you know reflector or diffuser it just got some light diffused light from all around right and it's not it wasn't reflecting uh, the softbox otherwise it will be really bright so I would definitely put somewhere well at this angle it should be really 
close to the camera somewhere on the center find that spot where knife blade picking up reflection from well you can have something to reflect it and uh, highlight with gradient lighting it, it will it will help the splash itself uh, really cool I like it uh, obviously the splash is it's just a time and uh, you know how many tries you do to get that you know perfect or not a perfect but at least uh, sexy looking splash I think here it could be done well you could have nicer splash more liquid you know not that thin um, but more like thicker you know like full of water kind of splash uh, and shape can be different but again uh, I think it's great job uh, I love the concept and uh, well you just need to continue doing this stuff because this is very right direction you go mixing you know just regular products subjects uh, everyday subjects well anything which a tabletop photographers shoot mixing with water with liquid with splash with high speed uh, um, you know action shot splash action shot with some props like this lime this is a winner basically this kind of concept is what we see on the advertisements everywhere that's a new trend well it's not maybe new it's like a couple years but again there are many spots on that market you just need to do it really 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 well really well okay so just keep going great stuff okay next one really guys I enjoy in these submissions it's very professional uh, very good job Pavel Pavel from Poland let's open uh, yeah I don't have the big yeah obviously bigger photos are better but anyway uh, cool I like it I liked, you know, those gradients uh, on that, uh, how we call it, that thing which holds sugar. Sugar keeper? I don't know. But uh, I think it's done very well. And uh, critic, what to improve? The only thing I can think about, uh, those lines, uh, let me show it. Uh, these lines I think that's uh, gaps between uh, diffusers reflectors right even though they look nice I think they could be better in terms of the shape you know if they will have some kind of nice arc going on uh, it might be better but other than this it's really it's hard to critic because it's it's very nice uh, I like the highlights I like how the texture of the metal uh, came up uh, really really good and again guys look at the lighting lighting setup it just uh, two or three uh, speed lights with all do it yourself I think it's do it yourself well even the lighting modifiers uh, those diffuser panels it's for sure, almost for sure, it's do it yourself. Uh, those kind of snood type of reflector or mini soft boxes, I would say, oops, on the uh, strobes. That's the right way to use your equipment to get maximum from it. Really, because I was doing exactly the same. It was just, a, I don't know, six years ago. I didn't have uh, those Einsteins. Uh, I didn't have uh, studio light, and I just have had four uh, speed lights, and I was shooting splashes a lot of splashes I was shooting uh, some tabletop stuff more splashes than tabletop but again look at the result it's great and well I love this creative uh, you know creative thinking and you see it's like it's a one shot basically almost one shot so great great stuff thank you Pavel that's really cool okay and next uh, Barry, Barry McKinsey. 
let me see cool color <laughs> even though I'm it's kind of it's nice but because it's everything is green it's kind of a little bit strange almost everything we have one highlight well few highlights which is uh, white but um, I it you it look unusual and I'm sure it's uh, exactly what you want to to do but I'm just thinking if we could have the background let's say colored background and the subject is not colored if you get reflection on the background from something highlighted with a gel and uh, not to highlight I, I'm not sure if it's really possible because background reflective and the subject reflective but I'm just saying that you know it may look um, well forget about better or not better it will look different and if you like this way it's cool uh, let's jump to technical side uh, by the way here I kind of like uh, the mirror because it looks cool you know it's like for a subject you, you don't even see is it mirror or just uh, you know um, four instead of two this uh, let's look at this I don't like this line really because ideally it shouldn't be gap between uh, diffusers and ideally you shouldn't use uh, two diffusers or two reflectors in place of one let me yeah you see you have two panels all right and you created gradient on them with the st uh, speed lights which is great great way to to use the speed lights and uh, uh, reflectors but if you would use one large cardboard on top of everything same like Curtis used here Curtis had a uh, diffuser meaning he could shoot through it you have reflectors you have to highlight it from the front but same idea just have one large uh, piece of uh, reflector or diffusion material on top of your silverware and then you have two lights you can even create two different spots right on that one uh, big uh, diffuser reflector and it won't be any gaps on that nice you know gradient reflections so that's the main kind of mm. for me <laughs> the rest is cool the rest is really cool and uh, I think it's it's very good shot so thank you buddy and yeah you have just a little bit time to shoot it which is again great result okay okay in a in a G G you know what is your last name <laughs> um, cool concept you know what reminds me uh, I have uh, similar shot I done it well too many years ago uh, it was no digital I had the film camera and I had this knife and uh, big orange and I was using the line painting technique with multiple exposures on the same uh, frame you know how it used to be on the film cameras you can expose same piece of film several times so that what I used it was a very very similar composition uh, I used colored uh, flashlight to highlight uh, the blade first and then orange second and then something else I forgot was some table and all was exposed on same piece of film same frame and then next day I uh, developed it and it came up great so it was <laughs> big uh, you know victory because you know it was not digital and it was quite challenged to get all those exposure correctly and uh, all this stuff especially in uh, apartment bedroom without any you know educational courses or anything it just was a lot of tries trial and error all my education so brr, I went somewhere else sorry cool shot a uh, few things which I would definitely fix 
uh, where is the light on the blade? We see the blade, and uh, I understand you probably would like to show that, uh, you know, um, that kind of pattern, texture, if you want, uh, on the blade, but it's too dark. It should be, it should be some more light. It should reflect something, something much brighter. And uh, even not only blade, uh, the handle, it should be highlighted more. Because, well, on my computer, I, it's hard to see uh, the knife. I see that big orange, actually two oranges. And this is another um, thing which I think not really playing well here, that uh, uh, mirror. It just uh, two oranges and you know the uh, reflection is too visible too much it should be kind of softened reflection is cool but you know when it's not uh, too much and uh, let me see what is green thing coming from from here uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure something green so and the lighting setup let me see you have some dark what is dark uh, it's just a screen right and I'm not sure where oh I see the light from here okay okay I see now <laughs> it's about the ground I was completely off yeah a uh, light from the side and basically this is it so with given uh, resources this is good shot and uh, like I said uh, very cool concept uh, just make sure that uh, you have somehow get that reflection on the knife more light for the night for the knife okay already so thank you Ina. just keep going you're on a very right course well we all guys you are all guys doing this really really well so Okay, it was the last shot. Cool. So, thank you guys. And uh, I need to find out the winner. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit and talk a little bit about um, those... Um, well, you, you guys almost show everything, but uh, like I said, I want to show you how, how I done that little... I have knife and uh, spoon there. I'm gonna show you and uh, oh we have come some question uh, I, I'm gonna switch this question in a second but uh, let's uh, I ask you to post in the chat the name of the winner for like in your opinion who is the best uh, doing this assignment from photographers who submitted it okay just go to chat and uh, send me a name and this way will help you'll help me to to find uh, out the winner who will get a private consultation with me up to one hour right that's what we have uh, as a prize and uh, now let me jump to the question uh, wouldn't be hard to reflect and keep the orange dual at the same time oh orange leaf I see uh, well Renato, I think it's possible. It's not uh, because the knife is highly reflective, comparing to uh, orange. I think it's possible to get uh, knife uh, better, you know, more light on knife and uh, orange. Well, you see, the orange is too too bright from right side. In any case, it's just too bright. And there is no light from the left so maybe you can use some silver reflector just a piece of foil from the right and light from the left you know kind of reposition everything uh, to, to get the knife because wh what's the most important here what's the subject uh, we want to get attention orange itself by its color will grab your attention and the knife uh, you know you need to help knife to get some attention to and uh, you know because so orange not that important to highlight knife is more than important to highlight plus what kind of assignment it was orange shoot or uh, silverware we shoot in silverware imagine that you that you sell in this knife so 
Okay? <laughs> knife is the first. Muir. Maybe it's Muir, right? Yeah, Kurt is asking about. Well, it's. I thought it's maybe some kind of pattern on the knife, but maybe you're right. I'm not sure. You know, sometimes uh, they have. Well, it's hard to imagine knife with such. You know, such pattern or texture. So maybe Kurt, my Kurt is maybe you're right. Maybe it's me, which is kind of strange, but. I know. It's huge. <laughs> okay. So, guys, uh, think about who's the winner. Oh, and one more question for you. Uh, next assignment. I want to keep it a little bit kind of, you know, creative and uh, less strict. Um, so, drop me what you would like to shoot for in two weeks. What you would like uh, us to discuss and maybe for, for me to show some kind of uh, things, okay? Uh, I mean, to show how to shoot it. And now I'm going to switch to... Okay, it's a little bit different mic. And now I'm going to walk a little bit. And uh, to show you a little bit. So first, we'll go like this. We'll fly. Ooh. Okay, now Okay So, you hear me, right? Yeah, you hear me. You see me partially probably But like I already said Cortis did well not only Cortis uh, a few guys did very uh, you know, like right thing. Oops. Oh, it's running. Why? Why? It doesn't want to stay. It doesn't want to stay still. How I can fix it? Let me try again. Okay. I'll try to do it horizontally now. Okay. Be good. <laughs> so. Let's use only one light source, which is here, right? It's just a strip box. You see, I even removed uh, the second diffuser. Well, I removed it because it's dirty uh, in paint, but in any case, because we use diffuser, this diffuser, right? This is the Scott. Uh, diffuser, it's foldable, it's easy to handle, uh, but if we'll use any other diffuser, like a tracing paper or uh, the translucent savage plastic, which I use a lot, it's here. If you look in first time at, at 40G Live, this is a plastic, you can buy it from B&H. It's perfect reflector, white reflector or diffuser if you shoot through it. And it comes with big rolls so easy to cut any shape anyway let me do this i'm going to put this diffuser cover the whole thing here okay and i have spoon and knife Spoon is just regular glossy spoon, right? And the knife is, again, regular knife, but the idea, I want to have a completely flat blade. So, two little bit different subjects. In terms of, this is all, you know, spherical kind of arcs, rounded, name it, and this is flat. And let's try to shoot just a spoon. Okay? So I'll use one light. This is my trigger. It doesn't play any role. Because I white lighting is that side and uh, I want to use wireless the trigger which I have on Einstein's built in. 
So I'm going to use Einstein to trigger this light. It's set on minimum pow power and it just, you know, throws some light which will be picked up by white lighting. I have two Inst Einsteins which uh, are not working now. So I'm a little bit short of my Einstein. Anyway, uh, the camera is here and now it waking up and let's see i'll move the light and then we'll shoot you hear me but you don't see me right okay so the idea is simple we create a reflection on the top uh, diffuser right and the shape of that reflection, it's actually, well, that's what we'll see. And usually gradients are good. Now for, for example, here it's too dark. And you see where uh, the diffuser ends and where it starts reflecting something else. Actually, it's very important to understand what reflections you see on, on your subject, on the glossy subject. Let me kind of show you guys, just to make sure that you're kind of getting this. Oops, this is where the reflection from diffuser I have on top of my table ends. This is the line, right? And what we see after this is a reflection from this little plate. Okay? So this is a reflection from the this little white plate and you can well let's say if we have to shoot it this way spoon on the uh, plate like this you can do anything to that piece of reflection we can only manipulate with uh, with this right this portion and obviously all this so it's very important to understand. Uh, you always need to think what, what your subject is reflecting and how you can change it if needed. So let me now adjust. I'm going to move that uh, softbox just to highlight a little bit more of the diffuser. And uh, it will be brighter, just brighter diffusion, brighter reflection and less darker gradient on this uh, spoon, okay? So, just try to keep it like this. Yeah, you see actually the reflection, right? And what I will do is, I will move the whole softbox a little bit far from the diffuser. And I'll check actually what we see. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to shoot. So what I did is, because we see, we've seen that, yeah, now we see the reflection on the diffuser is not that strip box like uh, shape anymore. It's more diffused because I moved uh, diffuser, well, not diffuser, light away from the diffuser. And this way we can create a nicer gradient more softer, softer gradient. So let me shoot it. Okay. A completely different picture, right? Uh, let me check one more thing before. One second, guys. I want to make sure that we are online. Okay, cool, no complaints. So, if you look at 
our spoon, it looks, well, for me it looks sexier, I would say, from this one. Obviously, it's always uh, up to photographer and uh, well, the customer uh, how to show it. But in general, uh, I like this bright spoon better than this dark one. And you see just one light uh, and one diffuser. Very easy to shoot. And uh, what happened if we add knife to it? So I'm going to put knife just next to our composition. Move it a little bit. And uh, let's put this knife. Then I'll make sure that we see the whole thing. Okay, and I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it, and this is what we see. <laughs> well, even knife <laughs> looked bad, good, uh, I mean, go good here, because I was thinking to, to show you how it's not good when uh, there is no uh, gradient on the knife. But looks like we got a gradient accidentally. <laughs> I was thinking to, to show you how to make it. But anyway, I'll move it to play it with it. So you see the knife, all this glossy stuff, which on the handle, like this piece, it looks better than the blade because blade it's too flat. And we don't see all this, you know, darker and brighter areas. We don't see this nice edges, which is here. Uh, blade is just uh, just a little bit plain, and the idea is here is to change the the way the light creates well the shape light creates on the diffuser behind well on top of everything to find that spot where that flat surface of the blade grabs the reflection and create a gradient on that uh, that area how to create gradient well it's basically uh, where strip, uh, strip box well where it's visible where light is ends and the darkness starts right well the age between strip box light and no light so let me move it and i'll play a little bit with it if i jump this way yeah i think it will be even a little bit better for you to see. So first I'm going to move my strip box a uh, little bit closer to the diffuser. You see, right? You see it through the diffuser. And now I'm going to rotate it and look at viewfinder just to try to find the position where we'll see some gradients on knife. And not sure about spoon. I don't worry about spoon right now. Actually, I want to show you how sometimes maybe hard to mix everything, but still possible. So I just got a shot. Let me see. Wow, it was too much light. Let me adjust it. And and you understand why it happens because I moved light. Uh, light source closer to the diffuser, the diffuser, it obviously throw more light on the subject. So let me shoot again. I just reduced light a little bit. <coughs> uh. It looks like it didn't uh, discharge that old white lighting didn't discharge the yeah a little bit anyway uh, the idea is simple right you see some gradient on the knife maybe it's not a perfect gradient and uh, maybe a uh, spoon doesn't look right well this portion looks not right this is not really so I'll play a little bit with it just to get better shot but you got the idea in general it's very simple you need to create gradients almost everywhere on the spoons, on the forks, on anything which is uh, not flat plus create a gradient on the knife ideal gradient is not like this, not like diagonal but uh, across all the blade 
let's say it starts from dark and then go brighter till the well where it's uh, sharp this is a perfect it's just uh, you need to align that uh, age between light and not light and the diffuser align with that knife basically it, it will create uh, the gradient we need to see so let me play a little bit and see what will happen sometimes you just need to move this whole thing Oops. no wrong side okay anyway I don't want to spend too much time because uh, this is what I call fine-tuning of the shot and uh, yeah So, like this, if you look at the knife, this knife and this knife, obviously it's all uh, subjective, but I like this more, I like it better, because it has uh, this dark blade, basically, or whatever, the sharp piece, and uh, obviously tip is brighter. Here it's more flat, and it's not that cool. Uh, but maybe on this type you will see more texture from the metal, which is maybe cool. Uh, plus, let's say, these parts may look better. So, the well variety of how you can shoot it is unlimited, right? I just want to, you to understand how you create uh, the dam reflection, okay? You just move the light and uh, shoot, move, shoot, and you should get it. Let me see if I can... Yeah, this is uh, what I was uh, shooting before the hangout. Uh, well, s similar idea, maybe just a little bit different shots. I'll show you. Yeah, like here, this one, well, all basically the same. Yeah, for example, like this one. I like this one. I like how blade came up, I like uh, dark areas, I even like the spoon, even though it's a little bit darker. Okay? So, oh, many, 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 so many uh, questions on the chat, and I didn't see any, any of them till now. Okay. Uh, can you quickly say what camera you use in lens and setup? Uh, I use Canon 5D. Uh, one sec. Okay. If you hear me well. Okay, you hear me well. So, Canon 5D Mark II, uh, I saw 100, 1 of 200 of a second shutter speed, F13 for this setup. And uh, lens is 100 millimeters Canon Macro um, 2.8L. IS, which is IS completely useless here, but uh, this is a lens. Okay. Uh, what's some more with knife? Yeah, we got this. Should should reflection be in focus or is okay a little bit out of focus? I think Cortis had one of the best results. Okay, so Cortis is uh, well reflection out of focus. Yes, that's what I was kind of uh, talking about, reflection out of focus. Uh, it kind of separates the subject and the reflection. If you have really, well, if everything is focused, it's hard, it's just uh, too messy, right? So definitely uh, out of focus reflection is better. And actually, uh, I remember I was doing some jewelry shots on the mirror. Uh, well, it was needed, we need the mirror. And it was too much of the reflection, so we blurred the reflection in Photoshop later. Because it was needed. 
Okay. So until uh, Mikhail splash most outstanding should be the winner. Okay, thank you, GB. I think there is orange leaf. Oh yeah, I see the orange uh, leaf on that orange, that green piece. Okay, now I get it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Okay, so we got this uh, shot done. Well, it's one hour. And uh, the winner is, let me jump back to my screen. No, not this one. And this one. Okay. And the winner is... Because, yeah, I was kind of thinking on the background as well about the winner. The winner is... <gasps> maybe... Maybe Pavel. Or maybe Mikhail. Basically, it's two. Uh, <laughs> Michael or Mikhail or Pavel. Because I really like this shot. Really. It's great. And I like Splash. It's great too. Uh, but, you know, because you guys mentioned... Um, Michael, let's be Michael the winner, okay? So, like I said, many outstanding shots. Great job, guys. Uh, but uh, I need to select only one. So, congratulations, Mikhail. You, you got my, my time and my passion and uh, my experience. Just think about uh, what uh, will be talking about send me email and we'll find time and actually i still have to talk to lynn uh yeah lynn I, I'll, I'll send email right now okay so and next shot next shot we don't have anything for next shot what about go to what's going on with this camera uh, go to completely uh, opposite direction from this silver stuff, silverware. Let's shoot uh, some texture. Let's let's say uh, purse or bag, bag. Just imagine you shoot for advertisement or for catalog, but very high-end uh, type of catalog. Find some nice, uh, it may be bag or maybe just a purse. And let's shoot it. And the idea is to show the texture of the material. Uh, to Transmit that feeling when a uh, customer touches what, uh, well, we should feel it uh, through the image, okay? So this will be next assignment. Textured subject, purse or bag or something very similar. Advertising type of shot or very fine uh, the catalog shot, okay? And it will be two weeks from now. Sorry for the camera, I don't know why it stopped working, sometimes it happens, but I'm glad we have this FaceTime camera, which helped us a lot. Okay, thank you guys, uh, it was cool, and uh, I think uh, we need to do a hangout. Hopefully next uh, Thursday we'll do just a hangout, uh, so make sure you ask, well, if you want to be on that hangout, ask me sh that I, I will add you to that circle, I have studio hangout circle long time ago, right? It's like about 200 people there. Uh, but let's just uh, sit and chat and talk about, well, whatever you want, probably photography, okay? It will be next week. Mm, assignment will be two weeks from now. Alrighty, so thank you. Uh, happy holidays. And, you know, be careful <laughs> in drinking <laughs> too much. <laughs> okay, bye guys.